so what's up guys hope you are doing well i'm match from techmash and today i'm going to show you that how you can enable your virtualization in your windows 11 or windows 10 pc so my laptop is an asus laptop and my motherboard is from asus so if you have a different brand of motherboard then the process would be same but the settings might be different so at first let me show you if we just go to our task manager then i will show you that my virtualization is turned off actually all right so let's click on here and here you can see in our performance section if we just go to cpu section here let's click on cpu so here you can see that my virtualization is showing disabled so let me show you clearly so here you can see my virtualization is saying disabled so i want to enable it so maybe you are trying to install blue stack or like an emulator or maybe you are trying to install hyper v or something else and you need to enable your virtualization so let's get started shall we so at first we need to restart our computer and while restarting your computer just keep pressing on your shift key on your keyboard and then just click on here and restart and you need to keep pressing on your shift key on your keyboard so here you can see our pc is now booting and it is saying please wait now you can release your shift key and now here you need to select the troubleshoot option here so just go to your troubleshoot option using your keyboard and press enter and then here you need to scroll down and select advance option and in your advance option you need to go to uefi firmware settings so just press on enter and click on restart so if you cannot find uefi firmware settings then you can follow my video in the i button to know how you can get that so after coming to your bios so this is my asus laptop and my motherboard is from asus so you can see this is how asus bios looks like so if you have a different brand of motherboard the interface could be different so we will go to our advanced mode here so here at the bottom you can see the advanced mode so to go to our advanced mode we need to keep press on our f7 on our keyboard so let's press on f7 and here you can see we are now in our advanced mode in our asus bios and now here in our asus bios we need to enable svm so if you have a different motherboard don't worry just go to your advanced option so here we are now in our advanced window and here you can see our svm mode is disabled so we need to enable it so let's click on enable here and press on enter and now we need to save and exit from our bios so this was a really quick and simple tutorial so now let's go to our save and exit here and now let's press enter and then let's click on ok so now our pc will boot and our virtualization should be enabled so we have booted up into our computer okay so let me put my password here and then let's press enter so now let's go to our task manager again and check if our virtualization is showing enabled or not so now we will go to our performance section again and here you can see in our cpu here you can see that it is saying virtualization enabled so this was a quick tutorial on how you can enable the virtualization in your computer so if this video helped you then don't forget to hit the like button and also let me know in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from tech mesh and i'm signing out